High quality IDEA data is so important as it's the foundation for everything that we do in special education. Westat has had a long-standing relationship with OSEP. Westat was heavily engaged with OSEP around the IDEA data, which is the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act data. Westat has worked with the data that is collected under the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act since the late 70s. And as uh, time and technology has changed, their role has transitioned from that of data collector to that of technical assistance provider. And so now the IDEA Data Center in DeCASD, the Data Center to Address Significant Disproportionality, are charged with providing technical assistance to states to ensure that the department is getting high quality data. High quality IDEA data is data that is timely, complete, and accurate. What this means is that we want to have data that is available and ready to be used at the time that we need it. We want to make sure that the data that we receive is complete, meaning that every student is counted. And then we want to make sure that that data is accurate. We want to make sure that what we are seeing in the data is actually based on what's happening in the classrooms across America. WestEt has a number of special education projects right now that are funded by OSEP. We have a part in many of what OSEP considers the data centers. We also support OSEP around the annual report to Congress, which talks about the implementation of IDEA across the country. We also work directly with states in order to help them with IDEA data-related issues, as well as policy issues. The IDEA Data Center is one of the data centers that's funded by OSEP to build state capacity to be able to collect, analyze, report, and use high-quality IDEA data. Our technical assistance includes things like our IDC website, where states can go and download different resources related to data quality. We have data quality peer groups that are relevant for all of the different role groups within the state education agency, including special education directors, state data managers, um, SPP APR indicator leads, as well as the 619 coordinators. And so they are platforms that allow those states to come together and talk about their unique challenges as well as potential solutions and be able to have those dynamic conversations with their colleagues. We also then provide intensive technical assistance, which is where we work one-on-one -on -one with a state around their IDEA data. The Data Center for Addressing Significant Disproportionality, or DCASD, is a fairly new center. The main purpose is really to work with state education agencies and local education agencies to build their capacity to identify and address significant disproportionality through the collection, analysis, and reporting of high quality data. It is a requirement that all states have to analyze their data every year and the data of their districts to determine if there are any racial or ethnic groups who are being identified for special education services, who are being placed in more restrictive educational settings like separate schools or separate classrooms, or are being disciplined at higher rates than their peers. And we know it's an issue at the national level, state, and district level too. DCASD supports states and districts in a number of different ways. We have our website that anyone, any state, district, families can access to see what's going on around the center and again to see those uh, tools and resources. We also offer more targeted uh, services where we are bringing together groups of states and eventually their districts as well to come together around common areas of need or interest. We also provide intensive technical assistance where we will work more closely one-on-one -on -one with particular states to really dig in deeper to see if there are any systemic issues, make larger changes um, at the system level within the state and working with them to, to put in place the processes that they need to be able to accurately identify districts for significant disproportionality and be able to really support and work with their districts and decide how they want to address significant disproportionality in terms of services and initiatives and programming. IDC and DeCASD are important because both centers 
are charged with improving the capacity of states to collect, report, analyze, and use IDEA data. Their data processes allows the Department of Education to make strong policy. It also allows the states to target and identify places where they're struggling without the department having to intervene. I really feel that the work that we've done at Westat over time has contributed to improving special education programming and services and ultimately helping to improve outcomes for, for children. 